there's a spiritual war going on. Okay, I mean, this is absolutely right at the heart of 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 the of the Orthodox worldview, the traditional Christian worldview. You have a bunch of fallen angels who rebel against God, led by the adversary, the Satan, as he's called in the in the Bible, and they fall and they create this this kingdom of of opposition to God. It's those forces that tempt us away from God. We're we're made in communion in this garden, and we're so close to everything else that lives. We're so close to God that we can see Him walking in the garden. So there's this great image of us in communion with all life and with the divine creator of life, whatever that quite is. And we choose to walk away from that. We choose to go our own way to make ourselves gods because we're following this force. So like Rupert says, there are these there are these opposites tugging each other all the time. There's always a spiritual war. There's God, there's the anti-God, there's the adversary, there's the Satan, there's the demons, there's God and the angels. And these are all ways of speaking about this spiritual war that's always going on, um, which comes to a head at the end of time you know, when things are remade, this is the Christian story. So the, 